Good afternoon, this is Sat Aurora, and this is uh, part of the lesson for week two, because uh, a lot of the lesson did get cut off thanks to my microphone, so here is the second attempt. All right, so this is going to be a concept that we're going to, uh, a general concept of, uh, like a type of problem that we're going to try to solve, and it's known as uh, O1 knapsack. And this is a problem that has, uh, this problem right, statement right here is generally what uh, this um, statement uh, this statement is. So, there are n items numbered from 1 to all the way to n. For each i, for 1 is less than or equal to i is less than or equal to n, item i has a weight of wi and a value of vi. Taro has decided to choose some of the n items and carry them home in a knapsack. The capacity of the knapsack is w, which means that the sum of the weights uh, uh, taken must be at most w. Find the maximum possible sum of the values that Taro takes home. Okay, so the idea of knapsack is uh, very simple. It's kind of intuitive when you think about it. It's that for every item that you take, uh, you either at a specific cost, you either take it thinking that it will be more efficient, or you don't take it and you keep going with your uh, previous sack. So, uh, and then the time complexity of this would be uh, O of NW. And uh, looking at the restrictions, I'll actually screenshot them right now. Okay, and the restrictions state that, um, or the constraints say that one is less than or equal to n, n is between one and hundred. W is between one and ten to the five, uh, and this each weight has a value of between one and W, and each value value has uh, each value has a specific value towards it that's between one and ten to the power of nine or a billion. So uh, if we look at an O and N W implementation, we know that that's going to be ten to the five times ten to the two, which is ten to the seven, which is enough to pass in uh, the one second time limit. That is usually the amount on most problems. So, we are going to set up a table here. This is this is a dynamic program concept, by the way. So I'm going to put a table here to represent uh, a two-dimensional array, and this dimension is going to represent the number of items t uh, considered so far at that stage, and then this dimension is going to be the sum, this is the sum of uh, the weights. And clearly, uh, let's have a look on the side over here. Um, this is a sample input that was given on the problem. You have uh, three items with a total value of eight, and uh, or you're looking to have a total weight of eight or less. And then you have these three items uh, with weights 3, 4, and 5, and with values 30, 50, and 60, respectively. And now our, the sample output for that was 90. So let's see how that number actually came through. Okay, so here um, we're going to start off by thinking that, hey, if there's no items considered, then obviously uh, you cannot get any value. Uh, so each value entry is going to have zero in this first column because no uh, values were considered. Now, let's look at our first item, which has a weight of 3 and a value of 30. Okay, with our first, uh, with our first, uh, with considering the first item only, or the first item, the zeroth item, but the zeroth item doesn't exist, with our first item only, can you uh, get it in uh, a sum of weight of 0? No, you cannot buy it because <clears throat> you don't have enough uh, capacity in your bag or the, the column currently right now is not big enough to support a, something with a weight of three. So that means right now we have zero. Now let's move on to our next entry. This one right here. Still, we have a, sum, a total sum of weights in our bag is one and we need a weight three. Uh, we need to put some, we want to put something in weight three, but we can't do that because our bag still doesn't have enough capacity. So we're going to have a value of zero. And similarly, we're going to have a value of zero here as well. 
uh, notice that these three values right here, these, this one, this one, and this one, are all the same as the values directly above it because they represent that uh, you taking the first item is either not possible or not optimal. In this case, it's not possible. Um, now, uh, something interesting appears. <clears throat> we have three as our sum of weights, but we also have three over here. That means that we can actually fit uh, something with a weight of three into our bag. So that means our value, uh, our total value now becomes zero plus uh, 30 is 30. Now, how would I, uh, now obviously you could tell me that this is the first item. So I did zero plus 30, but the real explanation for why I did zero plus 30 in which zero I used will come along a little later. Now, similarly, some, uh, if you have a bag of, uh, a bag with capacity four and you want something weight of three, you can obviously insert it. And so you're going to have 30 here. And similarly, everything uh, w with considering only the first weight is going to fit in the bag and is going and uh, just with the first item considered alone, it's going to be optimal to always put that item of weight three in that bag. Okay, now uh, we can uh, look at this second uh, look at, let's look at number two over here. And it has a weight and value of four comma 50. Okay. Keep in mind, uh, I want to emphasize once again that the left side is the number of items considered so far. So the first one, uh, the one with uh, the value one is we've considered one item. Now we've got to consider two items. Okay, now we have a total sum of weight zero and similar to the case uh, above, uh, similar to considering only one item, you cannot actually put anything into the bag because nothing will fit. So we have a zero. And similar for uh, to zero, Similar to our previous value, we also have zero here and then zero here because you cannot fit anything to the bag uh, because your sum of weights is all always less than um, any, uh, the weight of any item in the bag. So you cannot actually put anything to the bag or the knapsack. Okay, now we have something with weight three. <clears throat> so here's the question. Uh, we have, we've already established that you can put something with 30 here uh, something with value 30 here, but we don't have enough to put uh, something with a weight of 50 because that, uh, a weight of 4 be and value 50. We'd want to put a, a 50 instead of 30, but the thing is we can't because we don't have enough space in our bag or enough uh, capacity in our bag. So our best thing to do is to carry this one down and say that we can only fit something with a maximum value of 30, which is considering the first two items, but it's only the first item that we're actually using. But now, number four. Let's look at this fourth one over here. We could, there. it's a possibility that we could carry this down over here and say that, hmm, we can't buy anything. Uh, well, there's a possibility that we couldn't buy any items and that uh, let's buy anything with a weight of four or something else because uh, it's not optimal or it's not possible. However, let's look at our, our uh, number in this dimension here, it's four which is enough to fit anything in the first bag. So the question is, do I put in something with a weight of 50 or something with a weight of, uh, something with a weight of 30? So this is where the idea that you either put the item or not comes in. So here we say uh, that if you do put the item, that means you have to go up one. You have to go back to where you consider uh, one item less than the place, one, the, uh, one item less than the current place you're at and you go back the amount of weight that you've, uh, that the amount of weight of the current item, because you're checking, hey, can I go back and see if an item exists there? And if so, can, uh, is it more optimal to take this value right here and add on a, a 50, so zero plus 50, instead of just not, and then the second option is don't put the item which obviously means that the sum of the weights is still going to be four. So I would carry down the 30 as my second option. I carried, uh, if I carry down the th only carry down the three, that means I'm not putting the 50 because I don't, I don't want to use the 50 right now. However, and then the second, uh, and then the other option is, uh, going back one because I'm cons not considering this item and going back the amount of weight that the current item is so that if I add something with that weight, Am I getting, I'm getting that much more value out of it. So I have to see if zero plus 50 is greater than 30. 
and in fact is. So what we can do as a result is say that uh, our best and mo our most efficient value here is 50. And now we've caught a glimpse of our uh, dynamic programming approach. We've either carried uh, the we've either carried from the thing directly above us by saying we do not want the item, or we go up one and go left, saying hey maybe this item is better for us. Uh, and then you go left that much because you have to add that much weight to it. So now let's go to our fifth value, and I'm going to switch back to our black pen. Our sum of weights is five. Now we're going to do the same process because I've exposed you to both possibilities of the knapsack. Do we either want to go up and just say, hey, we only want the 30 because it's uh, more optimal or I can't fit any anything else? Or do I want to go up and left fifth, uh, left uh, four because that was the weight of uh, this current item and, do, and add the value of our current item, which is 50? So once again, we want to say, hmm, do I do 0 plus 50 for my optimal value, or I do 30? And once again, we clearly see that it's better to use uh, 30. I mean, my bad, no, use 50. And so we get our value of 50 over here. And so uh, the rest becomes much more clear once you un understand this concept. You either don't include it or you include it. So with uh, 6. Do we either want to go up one and left uh, our current uh, weight of four? So do we want to go to uh, this spot right here? Or do we want to use this value up here saying that we do not want to use uh, this current item because we can't fit it or it's not optimal? And clearly, once again, we see that we want to use it because we can fit it uh, and it's more optimal than not including it and using only things in our uh, previous sack, or previous capacity of sacks, uh, previous capacity of number of items. And now our number seven. Now this is where things get interesting. Do I want to carry this item into, uh, do I want to like not, not add this item, or do I want to go back and use this value I have over here and add on my current, uh, the, the value of the current, uh, item and clearly uh, so it's now becoming a question of do I want to do 30 plus 50 or do I just want to do 30 sorry about that um, and this time we see that it's way for uh, it's much more farther of a gap than before and that we all we clearly just want to do 30 plus 50 because it'll give us a much higher total value capacity of 80 and once again you either do 30 plus 50 by going up one and left uh, four, our current weight, or we go just go up one and say, hmm, we just want this item. And uh, we just want that uh, the, pre the capacity or the maximum value from the previous stack and not consider the current item. And once again, we do not want to do that. So 80. So now you be considering, okay, so is it is there always, uh, is there always a chance that, um, my bad, is there a chance that I don't want to go up and left and choose uh, my current item and add on the current item and its weight? And the answer to that question is yes. And we will see that actually right now. So now we're on our final item with a weight of five and a value of 60. Okay, so if we want to use the same uh, backtracking approach that we've done, we either want to go up one or go up one and go back five. However, if I went back five, I'd be at a negative five index and that's clearly not possible. So that means that I can't even try to consider doing that because that's not possible. In other words, I cannot fit, uh, I cannot even go back because I can't fit something with an item uh, with a weight of five into my sack, which means that I'm better off just taking, uh, I, which means I don't have a choice but to take a zero from the thing above me because uh, I can't fit uh, something with a weight of five. And similarly, I can't fit some anything with uh, my total sum of weights is one, and same for two. But now uh, my total sum of weights is three. Do I want to go ahead and add on um, 30 here, 
or like, do I want to use this item, uh, this value of 30 here, or can I backtrack far enough and try to add on 16, see if that's more optimal? And if I try to go back five, I see that I have an index of, I'd be at a uh, sum of weights of negative two, which is not possible to achieve. So I cannot even attempt to get there. So that means I'm better off just taking the 30. Or I don't have a choice but to take the 30, rather. Now, um, a value of four. Similarly, do I want to take the 50 or can I backtrack? And clearly, I cannot backtrack, so I have a, something with 50 here. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Um, oh, no. Um, now, um, I have something with a weight of, a sum of weights is five, and I wanna see, can I backtrack or do I take uh, directly above? Actually, this time, I can backtrack because I'm an index five now. And so I can go back and see that I had a total sum of weights is zero, uh, our total value is zero, um, if I went up and back five, but um, do I want to add it or not? Is it more? Is it better? So I uh, debate on whether I want to add that previous value plus my current uh, value, like the current value of the current item, or do I want to just not add this item at all? And it clearly, is more optimal to <coughs> take this. Uh, take uh, it's clearly uh, more optimal to take the item. And now similarly here, do I either want to take this 50 or go back uh, five and up one? And uh, also I do not, and same thing again, I don't want to go all the way back and uh, not take this item because this item is really big and it's uh, going to be much bigger than not, it's going to have a bigger value than um, not taking it. Now here's the interesting here uh, one here. Do I want to take the 80 that I've achieved before, which was the biggest number? Uh, that I've seen so far in this table, or do I want to go back, uh, go back up one and left two, bringing me to this uh, spot over here, and add on a sixty? So now it becomes zero plus sixty, or eighty. And this time, uh, to uh, maybe if you're surprised, it's better to actually not take the item because we've already achieved a higher um, weight a higher value with the same sum of weights without this item. So it's better to not take the item. And finally, we have our very last consideration. Do we want to take our 80 from above uh, by not considering this item again, or do we want to go back and add on uh, our 60? If we went back and uh, up, no, if we went back five and up one, we'd be at this item here. So that means I had a weight of 30 previously. Now I can I want to add on a 60 because that's the value of my current item. Now do I want to add on that 60 onto 30 or do I want to just take my 80? 30 plus 60 is 90, which is bigger than 80. So I do want to take the 80. Uh, I do not want to take the 80, but rather uh, I want to take the 30. Uh, I want to take this current item, and so 30 plus 60 is 90. So now that we've completed our table. What does this mean? It means that when we're considering in this last column, we're considering uh, three out of three items. That means every single thing has been considered and we've went all the way up to our maximum weight, our maximum capacity. And we've determined that the most optimal solution or the most optimal uh, approach will give us a total value of 90. And is that our sample output? Let's double check. And that's a yes. So remember, uh, this is a very uh, different, this can be a weird concept at first, but I would implement this as a 2D array or a list if you're doing it in Python, but I recommend for my senior class or the Vincent Massey senior class uh, of Complex Club to do it in C++ and see if they can get it and use the same idea of either go up and uh, left the current uh, weight, or is it better just go up and take the current amount? So as I, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, it's either uh, take the item and uh, <clears throat> take the item and increase the value by that much if possible, or you don't take it and use the previous uh, uh, previous uh, value with the same sum of weights, but one item less considered. And yeah, um, if anyone has any questions there, they can feel free to uh, direct message me, uh, me on Discord or ask for help in the senior help chat. 
and yeah that's everything i wanted to say i hope that you guys are uh gonna get this concept real well and i'm going to be posting problems either in the description or in uh the server or possibly both so yeah have a good day everyone thank you